Mario, sounds like you get an email. Jim <laughs> Mario, I finally learned what the legend of treasure is. It's the spirit of a demon. Rex knows plan to use his power to take over the world. They're collecting the crystal stars so they can open the thousand year door and unseal the demon's spirit. Those same crystal stars can also be used to reseal it. You must not let them get the crystal stars. Please, more. You must put a stop to their horrible plans. Peach. An ancient demon spirit. I got the hiccups now, damn it! I almost hit jump. Oh, wait. That reminds me of one badge I need to grab here while I'm in Rogue Port. Really? I didn't grab them all from chapter 4? Damn! I thought I did. I'm surprised. Well, how many shine sprites do I have right now, though? Wait a second. I know where I can get another shine sprite right off the bat without having to worry about going back to chapter 4 right now. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, this one right here. I remember this. Yeah, up here. Tube. Yes. Shine Sprite. Boom. It's only gonna do the one for, uh, like the one that sends me back to Glitzville. I still need to put the, uh, Twilight Town Star back at the door. Go through. Go through here real quick, because... Yep! Oh, Jesus! Oh! 
Okay, did that a bit too early. Oh, Vivian, you okay? Ah, <sighs> finally. Make Mario able to jump on spiky foes without being counterattacked. I'll put that on, thank you. Now I can safely jump on any enemy, except for the ones made of fire. Wait! There we go. Okay, yeah. Like, I can jump on any of the enemies, like a spiky Goomba, a uh, Koopa Patrol, a sp spiky pe uh, Buzzy Beetle, or was it a uh, Spike Top? That's what it's called? Or a spiky Para Buzzy? Uh, and also the Spinias, the orange, ver the orange versions of the Spunia. Don't you think? We should go up to the professor's office. We have to let him know about the princess's email. Oh, yeah. Spirit of an ancient demon. Right. Don't break the fucking fourth wall, old man. something. Are you talking to no one? Oh, never mind. Don't worry about such trivial details. Just listen. That destroyed the city which once stood here may well refer to this demon. It said that the seven crystal stars were actually created by that monster. And that this thing used the power of the crystal stars to try to control the world. According to legend, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes. But only the beast's physical form was destroyed. Its spirit could not be eradicated. Seven heroes used the crystal stars, which they had stolen from the demon, and they sealed its wicked spirit within the Palace of Shadow, locked behind the Thousand Year Door. From this, I gather the crystal stars cannot distinguish good from evil. So, if they're all united, they could either seal away, or resurrect the demon. Seems that who wields the crystal stars determines if they're used for evil or good. I guess 
we had to consider not collecting the crystal stars, then does anyone think it might just be better to destroy them once and for all? That was my first thought too, but for the research suggests we can't do that. A slight possibility that the thousand year door is weakening. Seems the crystal stars hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. So once a thousand years pass, the power to keep the door sealed shut will fail. And unfortunately, this year may be the thousandth year. In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return, even if the x knots fail. Oh boy. Well, where do we start? <clears throat> According to the map, it appears to be somewhere in Keel Hall Key. Keel Hall Key? I'm not too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless unsavory rumors. You know, the usual stuff. Eventual spirits full of hatred, evil curses, things like that. I'm not sure the sea salt's down by the harbor no more. You should head there first. Uh, before I head there... Merlin? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, let's upgrade Vivian, please, and thank you. Shazimi! Shazumi! Can I power up more? Uh, no, I got enough shine servers to power someone up, but I don't have anyone to power up right now. It's early Sunday. And then, there's, some, there's something I gotta do right now. I'm sorry, guys. Hey, is this your first time to the Trouble Center? Can I explain how our services work? Listen, okay. This Trouble Center is where people come with troubles. That's why it's named that. If you want to see what kind of troubles people have, check that bulletin board. If you're a nice guy, go choose someone and try to help them out. If not, nah. Help someone out and they'll give you a reward, probably. Not a bad deal, eh? But remember, if you decide not to solve the trouble, you have to pay to cancel. You got that? Well, good. Then go help someone out. Need a key, safe delivery, competitor research, da ba ba. Da 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 da. Uh, you. Melissa Bench must explain in person. Meet me on the roof of Zesty's house in Rogueport Square. And Thomas, this may be dangerous. Want to take on this trouble? Yes. Do it and do it right. There's a reason why I'm doing this trouble. There's a specific reason why I'm doing this right now. Because if I complete this trouble, I get a traveling partner with Miss Moe's. Get right to it, okay? I've done all I can to find this one elusive badge, but I failed at every turn. The badge is hidden in Hooktail's lair, of that much I'm sure. I went to check that room after I heard you defeated Hooktail, but nothing. I did hear rumors that to find this badge, one has to use the wind. No idea what that means, though. Anyway, go for it. Okay, sweetie? Well, to Hooktail's castle we go. Uh, Yoshi? doing trying to go in that pipe. I need the other pipe. I need the other pipe. Oh yeah, because I had done the door and I come back down here. Yeah, so... The pipe for Twilight Town gets planted in now. Woohoo! 
Now that I have the spike badge. Let's go. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going back to Hooktail's castle. Every single fight that I deal with is only going to give me one star point each. Is it really worth it to fight every single enemy? I don't think so, honestly. Let's head back to Rogueport, she says. Yeah. I'm just zooming by. Uh, real quick, I want to double check on something real right here. <laughs> I remember. It's a good thing I came back here. It's... I remembered that one. Ah, 
Actually, now that I think about it, uh, hold on. Trust me on this, real quick. Yeah. I knew that was gonna be there too. Like I said, I have the other save file at 100% star pieces and shine sprites all together. So I, majority of them, I will remember their locations if they're most, if they're the most recent ones that I found. Uh, wait a sec. No, 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 no. There we go. I'm just gonna put that there, just in case. Oh shit, I fell. Okay, well, that worked out well. No, and, and drop back. Block. That's not good at all for me. I'm just trying to do this as quick as possible and then get back on the road for uh, Keel Hall Key. Kind of wish I had the first strike badge. Where do I get that again? I can't remember. Maybe it's at the badge shop in Rogueport and I didn't realize it. Or, unless if I have it myself. No, I don't. Maybe it is in the bad shop in Rogueport. Alright, alright, alright. Wish there was an easy way to get back out of here.
Hey yo, the amount of coins? What the fuck? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh. Uh. I'm sure y'all saw it too. Don't worry. Oh, Jesus. There's also another good, uh, another good reason why I'm grabbing Miss Mose this early. It's because her, uh, one of her moves, it's, uh, was it, I think, a uh, kiss thief or something like that? It allows her to distract an enemy and steal uh, something from them. Whether it could be a random, just a coin, it could be an item that they're holding. It, it, she can, yeah, she can basically steal whatever, like distract the enemy and steal whatever uh, possible from the enemy. It could be either just the one coin or it could be a random item that they're holding. Like it could be, I don't know, a shooting star or something like that, or it could even be a badge. She can steal the badges from the enemies too, which is why it's e it's likely to grab her this early. Because, besides Admiral Robbery, who we are about to get here in Chapter Five, Miss Mose is the only other traveling companion left. There's a total of seven traveling companions. We have five right now.
Also, now that I'm back up here, I need to remember to go into the badge shop after I talk to Miss Mouse. the pleasure of my company. Miss Mose has joined the party. She can attack enemies with Slough Slap. She can also help out by using Kiss Thief to steal an enemy's item. I just... I said that. Son of a bitch. Should've grabbed this earlier. God damn it! Let's look through these. Super... Uh, I don't know. Not really much right there to help out Mario with his stats. Right. So, ne so now that I get... Now that I got Miss Moe's, I'm fine. Aha! I knew there was one down here. Oh wait, I need to go uh, upgrade Miss Mose real quick. Because I got the three shine sprites, and I just got Miss Mose, so it's about. It would make sense for me to go uh, upgrade her with Merlin real quick. <laughs> Merlin? There we go. Miss Mose! Shazibi! Shazubi! Uh, no. I'm good right now. Oh, shit. Oh. 
think I'm needing for a curse from the Pirate King. Oh, where the treasure hoard of Cortez, the pirate king is hidden. So you want treasure, eh? Fine, but keep an eye out or the pirate curse will get you. You found out, but none of them returned. I bet they met the bad end of the pirate king's curse. Those guys are dumb. Yeah, and it's true. I should have freaking <sighs> this freaking loud mouth. I freaking hate this guy. I hate this guy. He's my least favorite character in the entire freaking game. Freaking, I, I hate this guy. I, he is so annoying. The music is a bop, but I, I want him to shut up. Hey. Can't wait for us to get onto the water and just, I wanna, if I was in the freaking game, I would push him off overboard as soon as we leave Rogueport. Fuck him. Hey, buddy. King Klepto. What? Legends Arceus. Oh. <laughs> I think I kind of convinced my buddy, uh, King Klepto, to play Legends Arceus again after we did our... Uh, thing in Scarlet and Violet a while back. Oh, Jesus.
Oh, finally, this freaking loudmouth stopped talking. God, I hate Flavio. <laughs> 